Stamford, Connecticut, July 3rd, 1993. A gang called The Nation was kicking back at its hangout in the South End slums. Police say chapters like this one were fronts for drug dealers. I told you fools to watch that ball. The Nation leader was John Name Gruffin. Tell him I said to get over here now, man. You know what I said? His chief lieutenant was Charles McDougal. Tell him I said to hurry up. Yo, dog, where you at? Police say Marvin Smash Wooten was one of the gang's chief drug suppliers. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What's going on, baby? One of these days you're gonna smoke. Well, you're gonna lose some weight, man. So, it's like a good weekend for some business. Right, man. You know, we got baseball, we got apple pie, and a little power. Yeah, we about to get paid, huh? Word up. Name? Name! I got Wait, wait, come here, baby. What? What's going on? It was them Jamaicans, man. They dumped me. And they spray maids in my face. Who did it to you? So big, ugly bitch. And that Max and Roper, they held me down. What you looking at? You got a towel or something? Yeah, this beef has been going on too long. Damn right. straight, man. First they muscle in our nation territory. Then they shoot nation up. What? And they top it off. They gonna mess with my girl? What are we gonna do, man? What are we gonna do? It's time to be like Gotti. They're going to take all of them. Word is born. There was yeah. more at stake here than just Word a fight uh, with Most two women. There was reputation, which is quite, is something you fight for in the street. And now it came down to something personal, and he had to fight for his reputation. Ready to go, baby. We ready to go. Let's get Stop. some, fellas. Let's get yeah. some. Yeah. Let's yeah. get some, fellas. Stop. Stop. That afternoon, Crystal Merced and her sister Jasmine were on their way to a birthday party. Their mother, Rita Volante, was a teacher with the Head Start program. Her girls had become friends with many of the children at Southfield Village. Rita, Jasmine, and Crystal arrived at the Southfield Village around 5 p.m. with a birthday surprise. Police say John Roper and Chris Mad Max Carter hustled drugs at the village. Brooklyn-based Jamaicans, they were part of a new gang muscling into nation turf. Well, you know the 4th of July. It's nation time. You know what to do, right? We got this man. B formation, fellas. Come on, let's do this. Fellas, chill, chill. Say him, man. Say him. 
show, baby. firecrackers because it was the day before the 4th of July. Firecrackers had been going off all day, all over. When we realized that they were shots and not fireworks, when I saw that both of my daughters were inside, I took a deep breath, I thought everything was okay. I felt a little relieved. They were, of course, scared, so they were panicking, they were screaming, some were crying. I think I'm shot. One of the children had said, she's bleeding. And at that point, she just collapsed. We're going to the hospital. to reach behind me and touch her. I tried to, to maintain um, some hope or some faith that she was going to be okay. But uh, very honestly, there was a feeling inside that I knew that she wasn't. Just felt like something had left my body. There was a dark, a darkness that came over me and something was, was just missing. It's a strange, terrible, terrible feeling. It's like a part of you. It's just gone. Jasmine Merced died on the operating table. She was only seven years old. <laughs> 